Hey everybody, Phil Garner with Garner's Garden. So, I wanna walk you guys through our five-step facial care system. We have five different products. All right, so what comes with your facial care system is going to be the antibacterial facial cleanser. You can purchase the charcoal facial cleanser on its own, but the difference between these two, the only thing is, is that this one contains charcoal for the added benefit for your complexion, for your skin, and it helps your skin better. Which one do I prefer? I prefer the activated charcoal one, but it's good to start off with this one so you know what the baseline is. So there's your antibacterial facial cleanser. This is the oil cleansing method. So this is step one of the process. Step two is going to be your mineral scrub, your exfoliating mineral scrub. We already did a video on this on how to use it. You only wanna use this about three times a week. You don't wanna over exfoliate your skin because when that happens, you damage your skin. All right, so the next step will be our toners. What comes with the system is our pure toner. You can upgrade to the extra strength toner. This has essential oils in it, it has um, H2O2 in it also. And, and those actually, you can feel it working on your skin. I definitely prefer the extra strength toner. So if you have a chance to upgrade, I would upgrade to the extra strength toner. The pure toner works just as well, but the added benefit of the essential oils and H2O2 is it feels like no other. If you don't like peppermint on your skin, I wouldn't necessarily use this then. But uh, all right, so that's the toner. Our next one is going to be our normalizing face oil and our vitamin C facial serum. So the normalizing face oil, this is step four. You either you use this in the daytime, okay? Like in the morning after you take your shower, you wanna put your normalizing face oil on. Now at nighttime, after, you, after you've taken your shower, after you've cleansed your face with uh, step one and step three, you wanna use our facial toner, uh, I'm sorry, our vitamin C serum because what's gonna happen is, is while you sleep, the vitamin E, the vitamin C, the vitamin D3 that's in this product is gonna help repair your skin. And also there's vegetable glycerin in this, in this, uh, in this product and it acts as a humectant and it attracts moisture to your skin. So while you sleep, you're actually helping your skin out a lot, okay? So let's actually start to use this. I'm gonna try and do this all in one take because I don't wanna do a whole bunch of editing. <laughs> Sorry, I just needed to tell you that. All right, so let me move these out to the side because I have some open already. So here we are, step one. The oil cleansing method, a lot of you are normally, you guys normally use soap on your face. It dries out your skin. What happens to mud? I always like to use the analogy of mud. Um, when it's raining, mud looks like mud. It's nice and, and soft and liquidy and, and just mud, right? But when the sun comes out and the, and the um, when the sun comes out, what happens? The mud dries back and you see all the cracks and you see all the lines. That's exactly what happens to your skin when it gets dried out. Cracks and you start to age early and your skin doesn't look as healthy. So therefore, why not cleanse your skin with something that actually works like our antibacterial facial cleanser? It has neem oil in it. Neem oil is one of the most powerful oils ever. It's you can look it up. And it's, it's antibacterial, antifungal, antimicrobial, anti, 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 anti everything, okay? So this is really good for your skin. It also has hemp seed in it. It also has safflower. A lot of people are nervous about putting oil on their skin. And I always tell people, don't be nervous because it's the type of oil that you put on your skin. Hemp seed, neem oil, safflower, they all have a zero chance of clogging your pores. So you will not break out because of acne, because of using oil-based products. These work, trust me. <laughs> Not my skin, but you know, I had to go through a lot of different stages for my skin also, and now I, I have pretty good skin. I have clear skin right now. So let's get back to the product. So step one, let's shake it up, and you put it on your skin, just about that much. You don't need a lot. You put it, you put it on, and you put it on your skin. You, you do not need to cleanse your skin first. You don't need to, you just put it on your skin, and I like to get in the shower first. I mean, next the next step, I like to get in the shower. I like my pores to open. I like the, the neem oil. I like the essential oils to soak into my skin while I'm bathing. And then at the end of the shower, or if you do it outside of the shower, let's just say about 40 seconds, a minute has passed. Uh, if you're not in the shower, just let it sit on your skin for a couple minutes. And then you just wanna, you just wanna wash off. want to take some water 
and kind of just massage your skin like that. Okay, and obviously you're still going to feel the oil on your skin, and that's normal. It's perfectly normal, okay? But that's all I do in the shower, and when I get out of the shower, I pat dry my face. Okay, the next step is to use one of our toners. Like I said, we have our extra strength toner and what comes with it is our facial toner, our pure facial toner. Okay, what's the difference? One has essential oils and it has H2O2 in it, along with witch hazel and aloe. This one has aloe, witch hazel, aloe and witch hazel in it. So let's use the one that comes with the package, which is this one. Okay, you can use it with either a cotton pad or a cotton ball. I like to use cotton pads. They're so much easier to use. Um, and also they help, I, I just like them better. All right, so whatever your preference is, potato, potato. So you put some on, and I have a mirror right here, so. And you get rid of all of the excess oil and dirt off your face. This is especially important if you are using our activated charcoal cleanser. The reason is, is because you're going to have a lot of charcoal on your skin that's left off uh, after you get out of the shower, after you rinse off your face with the water. You're gonna have a lot of charcoal on your skin, so you wanna get rid of that. This will also help get rid of excess makeup that's on your skin. It's not a makeup remover, but it's excess makeup, excess dirt, and so forth, okay? I'm gonna get my receding hairline. <laughs> and you probably wanna just get your neck too and behind your ears. All right, so as you see, and I literally just got out of the shower too, so. <laughs> you see how it pulls off a lot of the dirt and oil that's left on your face. Okay, so the next step after that, this is the express step. We, as you may have noticed, we skipped step two. We skipped this uh, mineral, the exfoliating mineral scrub. We skipped that because I already have a video on it showing you how to use it. I don't want to get too messy today. But anyways, so step three, I mean step four and step five, now that your skin is still moist, you still feel the moisture on your face, you want to shake whichever one, whether it's day or night, you want to shake it up and you want to just do one squirt, just one squirt. Start off with the driest part of your face, which is for me is normally down here. Uh, for some people, it's other places. And you just wanna, you just wanna apply it to your skin. I'm a guy, girls, I see you guys doing this and you know, very meticulous on how you actually apply it to your skin. That's awesome. I just smack it on my face because that's how I roll. Okay, you wanna put it on your skin and voila. It'll start to soak in. Right now, it may look super oily. Never use the word greasy unless you're using grease. It's, the word is oily because we're using oily. We're using oils. <laughs> and if it was at nighttime, we would have been using our vitamin C serum. This feels great. During the day, you necessarily don't want to use this because you might become, uh, you might have become sensitive to the sun because of the vitamin C that's inside of this product. So that's the reason why we want to really make uh, keep this for nighttime usage. Other than that, that's how you use it. I mean, do you want, so that's it on how to use the five step facial care system. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. You know, if you, if you guys send me emails, I always try to answer them within the hour. Okay, unless I start getting like thousands. <laughs> All right, so for everybody else who has not used or watched the video on the mineral scrub, I'll show you how to use it right now. All right, so the mineral scrub, you would wanna put the antibacterial facial cleanser on your face first. So I'll just do it all over again. You wanna put the antibacterial facial cleanser on your face, step one, okay? Okay, so that's step one. You wanna put that on your face. Okay, then you wanna use the scrub. The scrub is, all right, this is very important. The scrub is not meant to be scrubbed onto your face right away, okay? You wanna apply it to your skin, so here we go. Here's the scrub, 
And you just wanna apply it to your skin right now. You're not exfoliating right now. You're just applying it to your skin. Just like, all right? You're just applying it to your skin like that. You're not exfoliating right now. Just hold, just hold up for a second. All right. So that's good enough for me. That's all you have to do. All right. You want to, The reason why you want to exfoliate is because you want to get rid of the dead skin cells that are on your skin, so that new skin cell, new skin cells can grow. The, all those dark heads, I mean not dark heads, all those dark spots from old acne. You want to get rid of that. You want new skin to start forming. That's how you start to erase it, okay? That's how that's how you get your, your your flawless skin. New skin cells start to grow. All right, so next you would either get in the shower, okay? Have your pores open, that's what I prefer and that's what I uh, would tell you to do. But if you don't get in the shower, you can just use your uh, basin, your vanity in your bathroom and you just, Start applying water to your skin, and this is when you exfoliate, okay? And as you see, you're, you see it starting to lather right now, okay? A little bit more water, you see it starting to lather? This is when you start to exfoliate with water, not with, not when you're just putting it on initially. You do not want to do that, okay? You see how it's working? You don't need to do it hard. It's like some people overdo it. You don't need to do it. All right. All right. Just a little bit more. All right. You see how I'm exfoliating my skin. And then you just wash it off when you're ready. When you get out of the shower or you just need a pat dry your face obviously if you're in the shower you can get a lot more water on your face and you can get rid of all the excess oil and the sodium borate that's inside of it okay so that was that now you go back and you do step three all right, I only had one pad, so I'll use the back of this pad. <laughs> okay, so you just put some toner on, get rid of all of the excess oil and dirt from your skin. So when you're using the toner, this is actually like between the antibacterial facial cleanser and the toner, those two combined are, this kills the germs on your face, okay? Kills the bacteria, it kills the germs on your face, while the toner, you have, now you have, now what's left on your skin is a whole bunch of dead bacteria, let's just call it bacteria, on your face, right? You have to get it off your face, so that's the reason why you rinse it off with water first, and then, then you follow up with the toner. Now you're removing all of that stuff that has been killed by our antibacterial facial cleanser. Okay? You guys are getting it. One plus one equals cleanser. <laughs> they both cleanse your skin. So since I already put the normalizing face oil on just a second ago, I'll just show you how to, I'm using the vitamin C. So this is nighttime. This is after I get home from work or from wherever. It kind of looks like that. Make sure you shake it well, okay? That's that's key. For nat for true natural products, for real natural products, you normally have to shake them because there's normally separation between them. So that's important. And you just put it on however you want to put it on. And that's about it. And it will soak into your skin. Do not be afraid of oil. Oil is your friend. Oil will keep you looking young and healthy and glowing. Trust me, 
six months down the road, your skin will transform. No, this is not going to change your skin overnight. I'm gonna tell you this, I'm gonna tell you straight up, no, it's not a chemical. And, but the good part is, is that once you start using these and once your body starts to transition into what these are trying to do for your body and once you purge out all of those toxins that you've been trapping inside your body, your skin's just gonna change. And it may take a couple months, but once it changes, it's permanent. Not really permanent unless you stop using them, but it's it's long-term change, okay? Whereas a, a remedy, like an overnight remedy that uses chemicals, those, those normally have side effects and it could be anywhere on your body. It could affect you a lot of different ways. So the best way to do it is have patience and really know your skin. This is gonna help you understand your skin, okay? These products are gonna help you understand your skin. Right now, my skin is feeling soft. Um, feel healthy, okay? And if you feel like you're too oily, just pat dry your skin, but it will soak in. All right, so again, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for uh, tuning in and watching this video. See you guys in the next one.